Greetings, dear viewers, and welcome to another episode of Knowledge Conch Channel. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey into the depths of geoscience to explore the incredible world of radioactive dating. This is a tale of isotopes, half-lives, and the remarkable method scientists use to decipher the age of Earthies, most ancient treasures. Radiometric dating, radioactive dating, or radioisotope dating is a technique which is used to date materials such as rocks or carbon, in which trace radioactive impurities were selectively incorporated when they were formed. The method compares the abundance of a naturally occurring radioactive isotope within the material to the abundance of its decay products, which form at a known constant rate of decay. The use of radiometric dating was first published in 1907 by Bertram Boltwood and is now the principal source of information about the absolute age of rocks and other geological features, including the age of fossilized life forms or the age of Earth itself and can also be used to date a wide range of natural and man-made materials. Radioactive Decay Radioactive decay, also known as nuclear decay. Radioactivity Radioactive disintegration, or nuclear disintegration, is the process by which an unstable atomic nucleus loses energy. By radiation, a material containing unstable nuclei is considered radioactive. Three of the most common types of decay are alpha, beta, and gamma decay. The weak force is the mechanism that is responsible for beta decay, while the other two are governed by the electromagnetism and nuclear force. The radioactive elements at the heart of radioactive dating are certain elements with unstable nuclei, known as isotopes. These isotopes undergo radioactive decay over time transforming into other elements at a predictable rate. Examples. Polonium. Radium. Thorium. Uranium. Neptunium. Plutonium. Barium. Cadmium. Cobalt. Manganese. Sodium. Zinc. Strontium. Thallium. Carbon cesium, etc. Half-life magic. Half-life symbol T is the time required for a quantity of substance to reduce to half of its initial value. The term is commonly used in nuclear physics to describe how quickly unstable atoms undergo radioactive decay or how long stable atoms survive. Have you ever wondered how scientists can confidently claim the Earth is about 4.5 billion years old? Or how they determine the age of ancient artifacts? Well. The answers to these questions lie in the fascinating world of radioactive dating. Picture an atom, the basic unit of matter. Each atom contains a nucleus with protons and neutrons. Now, imagine certain atoms that have an unstable nucleus. These are known as radioactive isotopes. Over time, these isotopes undergo radioactive decay, transforming into a stable isotope of a different element. This transformation is our key to unlocking the age of our planet and ancient artifacts. The rate at which radioactive isotopes decay is constant and predictable, much like a clock ticking away. This rate is referred to as the half-life, which is the time it takes for half of the radioactive isotopes in a sample to decay. For example, the half-life of carbon-14, a radioactive isotope used in dating organic material, is about 5,700 years. So, how does this help date the Earth or an ancient artifact? Let's dive into carbon dating, a specific form of radioactive dating to illustrate. Every living organism contains carbon, a small fraction of which is the radioactive carbon-14. When an organism dies, it stops absorbing carbon-14, and the isotope begins to decay at its constant half-life rate. By measuring the remaining amount of carbon-14 in a sample and comparing it to the expected amount in a living organism, scientists can determine when the organism died, thus giving an estimate of the artifact's age. Dating the Earth, however, requires different radioactive isotopes with much longer half-lives, such as uranium-238 and lead-206, due to the planet's vast age. Now, to recap the key points about radioactive dating. Firstly, it's based on the predictable decay of radioactive isotopes into stable ones. Secondly, the rate of decay, or the half-life, is essential to determining the age of a sample. Thirdly, carbon dating, a form of radioactive dating, is used for dating organic material. 
while other isotopes with longer half-lives are used for dating the Earth. And finally, while radioactive dating is a powerful tool, it's not infallible. Various factors can influence the initial concentration of isotopes or the rate of decay, leading to inaccuracies. But overall, it's an incredible tool that allows us to peer into the past, providing insight into the age of our planet and the treasures it holds. So the next time you marvel at an ancient artifact or gaze up at the night sky, remember the remarkable science of radioactive dating that helps us understand our place in the vast timeline of the universe. Radiocarbon dating, also referred to as carbon dating or carbon-14 dating, is a method for determining the age of an object containing organic material by using the properties of radiocarbon, a radioactive isotope of carbon, the method was developed in the late 1940s at the University of Chicago by Willard Libby. It is based on the fact that radiocarbon C14 is constantly being created in the Earth's atmosphere by the interaction of cosmic rays with atmospheric nitrogen. The resulting C14 combines with atmospheric oxygen to form radioactive carbon dioxide, which is incorporated into plants by photosynthesis. Animals then acquire C14 by eating the plants. When the animal or plant dies, it stops exchanging carbon with its environment, and thereafter the amount of C14 it contains begins to decrease as the C14 undergoes radioactive decay. Measuring the proportion of C14 in a sample from a dead plant or animal, such as a piece of wood or a fragment of bone, provides information that can be used to calculate when the animal or plant died. The older a sample is, the less C14 there is to be detected. And because the half-life of C14, the period of time after which half of a given sample will have decayed is about 5730 years. The oldest dates that can be reliably measured by this process date to approximately 50,000 years ago in this interval, about 99.8% of the C14 will have decayed. Although special preparation methods occasionally make an accurate analysis of older samples possible. In 1960, Libby received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work, Dating Earthy's History, by analyzing the ratios of parent and daughter isotopes in a sample. Scientists can unveil the age of Earthy's history. This method has been pivotal in understanding the evolution of life, the formation of continents, and even the age of the universe. Limitations and precision. As powerful as radioactive dating is, it's not without limitations. The precision of the method depends on various factors, and scientists continually refine techniques to enhance accuracy. Conclusion. And there you have it. The captivating story of radioactive dating, a method that allows us to peer into the depths of time and uncover the mysteries of Earth's past. It's a testament to the ingenuity of science in unlocking the secrets of our planet's history. Thank you for joining us today on Knowledge Conch Channel. Stay tuned for more enlightening stories from the world of knowledge and discovery. Until next time, may the pursuit of wisdom guide your path. Please do like, share subscribe our channel for more interesting topics.